Oh lord. Oh no. <laughs> to Kmart because I had to get <laughs> a pinata. Okay, we have arrived at Crown. I'll give you a little bit of a room tour. guys it is Sunday the what is it Sunday the 28th of March at 7 17 in the morning we had a massive day yesterday of installs and these are the garlands that I'm installing today so I've actually got to go to Dalesford super early I've got to go pick up a structure I've got to do another install that like orangey colored one and then buds and I are heading to Melbourne for a couple of nights which I'm super excited for so I'm gonna bring you along for that but yeah, I'm gonna start making up these balloons so we can get going. If you're wondering why I sound like a man, I also don't know. I just, I woke up like this. <laughs> I slept so bad last night. Um, but I've gotta make up a few bunches and then we can go deliver. So I need to get a shuffle on. Great. Oh, my camera battery's almost dying. No. Okay, the van's all packed. I don't know if you can see that. I'm, I'm actually running late now. I wanted to be at the yacht club to pick up a structure 15 minutes ago. So, all right, I gotta go. Okay, in a strange series of events, I'm now running ahead of schedule. So I went to the venue to pick up the structure that we installed last night and it wasn't there. So I don't know where they've put it. It can kind of be compacted down. So it might be in a storeroom other than the storerooms we're looking at. It doesn't matter because I don't need it today, but I'll have to go back and get that. I've just been into Kmart because I had to get <laughs> A pinata. This is really random. So last night, um, yesterday, a lady messaged me saying she lives in Dalesford. It's her son's birthday. Could we make up a garland and some bunches for her? And I was like, yep, sure. We do have an additional delivery fee. Obviously traveling to Dalesford because it's like an extra 40 minutes from where we are. Um, that was all fine. We booked that in. She paid for it. And then she messaged me late last night and was like, is there any chance you could go to Kmart and grab this pinata for me? She was like, I bought one, but I forgot to pick it up. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to come into town. And I was like, you know what? Sure. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> so, picked up a piñata. I also grabbed some lint chocolate. Buds loves lint chocolate. And it's his birthday on Monday. So, present-wise, I, I am so... Usually, I think I'm good at presents. But, like, I've just been so busy that I haven't really had time. I have got him stuff. So, I've got him a $250 voucher to this golf shop that I know he goes to. Because I walked in and I know the guy in there. He's like, this is obviously for Hayden. I was like clearly um and then i also got him he wanted this mat thing you know those ones you lie down on and it's like prickly he wanted that so i've got him that so um and then we're obviously going to melbourne so i said to him like we'll probably do some shopping down there um get some i guess winterish clothes it's definitely starting to get cooler in ballarat now so what i'm doing now is i'm going to head to dalesford i'm going to do this install and then i'm coming back to ballarat to do an install here at 11 and then i am done then i actually i don't know i've, I've been like so busy and i'm hanging for two nights down in melbourne potentially three we're looking at staying a third night and then we'll get up early and come home early on wednesday um but we'll just wait and see but yeah, I'm so excited. Just for like a couple of nights away, Buds and I are just going to chill out and relax and spend some time together. So off to Dalesford we go. Okay, update. I've just done that first install, the Fortnite one. They were Fortnite colors. I'll insert a little video on the screen that I took there. The family is so lovely. They've ordered from us before. Now I'm heading back to Ballarat. We actually did an install yesterday in Creswick, which I'll insert on the screen too. This was beautiful. I absolutely love the color scheme. Um... But for anyone that knows, to get to Dalesford, you have to go through Creswick. So I'm going to actually message the people that ordered yesterday to see if they want me to come and pick up the structure. Um, yeah, and then it's home to do with the last install. This one back here, we've also got a foil number one. And then I'm going to go home and have a shower and wash my greasy hair and get ready to go to Melbourne. I'm so excited. We're staying at Crown Metropole. Um... And I've stayed there so many times before. I used to stay there for work a fair bit. And I just love it. Heading back to Ballarat now. And I will speak to you soon. 
Okay, little update. I've gone and done the other install. I'll insert a photo on the screen now so you can see it. I also, in between jobs, I went back to the Yacht Club to pick up the structure. I gave them a call and they found it in another storeroom that we didn't check when we first went there. So I went and picked all of that up. And now I am done. I finally feel like I've done everything. I also, on my way back through Dalesford, went and picked up that structure. So I've already got that, which is fantastic. And now there's a car driving past and I feel so awkward. Oh. Anyway, now I'm heading home. I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to make myself feel nice. I'm also starving. So I'm hoping Buds hasn't had breakfast either. And we'll probably grab something to eat on our way to Melbourne. Um, or we'll just wait and have lunch down in Melbourne. That's probably a better idea. So going home now to get ready to go to Melbourne. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. This weekend has just been... The last few weeks actually have just been mayhem. Um, so this is really, really exciting. Hello guys. It is now a little bit later in the day. 12, 16. And we're finally... Well, we're actually not on the road <laughs> yet, are we? We're going to drop some stuff to Budsy's parents' house. We've got to clean the car because it's filthy. I'm actually, I'm going to show you this. Look how dirty this Buds works on a farm and it is, it's gross. So we're going to go give the car a quick clean and then we're off to Melbourne. Woo! I'm hanging for this. I feel like this afternoon once we both got home, it just took forever to get ready to go. I had to have a shower, I had to wash my hair, had to pack stuff, had to have a tidy up at the house. But yeah, all right, I'll speak to you when we get to Melbourne. We're gonna grab something to eat on the way and then we've got a dinner reservation tonight, which I'm super excited about. Okay, bye. I stuffed up the directions. <laughs> we're in a little bit of a pickle. Well, we're not really, we just have to do like a... I thought I knew where I was going and then I did it because all the roads have changed here since I last came to Melbourne. That's alright if you can't just keep going straight. We'll just go a little road trip. Anyway, alright. Off the camera so you can direct me. <laughs> Okay, we have arrived at Crown. I'll give you a little bit of a room tour. So, bathroom area. Oh, it's blurry. You can see buds through there. Make yourself very comfortable. <laughs> and then that's the bed. And then toilet, whoops, toilet. And then showers in here. I don't know if you really need to see that, but all of this. And then the bed. Buds, work table, and then view of Melbourne. So you can see the aquarium over there, and then that's like the city. We're gonna try and get our dinner reservation brought forward because it's kind of weird timing. Um, it was gonna be at 6.30, but now we're gonna try and go at five, and then probably go into the city a little bit later just to have a little look around. Maybe we should find a really cool cocktail bar tonight. Maybe we'll do that, all right. I'm gonna chill out for a little bit. Now we're gonna go for dinner. We're gonna have a little walk around the casino and then dinner at six. I'm not gonna bring my camera with me to dinner, but I'm gonna film on my phone. We're going to this unreal like seafood place. Did you just roll your eyes? <laughs> no, no, I was looking up there. I was looking up there. I'll film dinner on my phone, but I will show you. It is amazing. If you're ever in Melbourne, you should go to Krabby's Seafood Boil. The food is so good, I'll show you. If you live in Melbourne or travel to Melbourne, you should definitely go and try Krabby's Crab Boil. It is absolutely amazing. This is our second time coming here. You place your order through your phone and we got the Alaskan King Crab combo. It was so good. You pick the different sauces. We got a Cajun sauce and we got it all put in a garlic butter sauce. Here it is now. So they bring it up to your table. It is absolutely amazing. The taste is so good. You get all of your sauces. You can pick and choose whatever sauces that you like. These are the ones that we got. I think we got a pepper one as well. And you wear these little bib things and you've got these scissors, but they're not really scissors. They just sort of like pop open so it can like help you to cut the crab open. The crab meat is so delicious. This is the best place. I would highly recommend it. It's so fun. It's completely different because obviously you're not using knives and forks. You use your hands, but it is so good and we absolutely love it. Definitely check them out. I'll tag them below. Hello guys. It is much later in the night. What is the time? 
it is five to ten. We went out for dinner. Um, it was amazing. We went to Krabby Krabby Crab Spoil. It's so good. The food's unreal. And then we had a little walk around, and then we came home. Um, so now we're going to have an early-ish night. We're going to go down to the casino. And we actually went to the casino on the way for dinner. And we both won, didn't we? Cash money. Cash money. Um, we're going to go back to the casino tonight and just have like a wander around Crown. But we really couldn't be bothered. So we're going to have an early night. And then get up. And it's Budsy's 29th birthday tomorrow. So we'll probably go out for breakfast. What did you want to do? Go to SeaWorld? Uh, what is that? The aquarium. Budsy wants to go to the aquarium. And I was like, no, I feel bad for the animals stuck in the aquarium. He's like, but it's my birthday. So we're going to go to the aquarium tomorrow morning. Tomorrow at some point. Holy moly. Holy moly. And then, yeah. I really want to try Korean food. I've seen a lot of it on TikTok. So I really want to try that. Um, and then we're thinking of staying an additional night. So we're already going to stay down for two nights. Now I think it will stay for three. So we've got like two full days down here. But... Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sleepy. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll see you in the morning for Budsy's birthday. How do you feel about being 29? Old. Old? Nice. <laughs> You're not even that old. <laughs> Where are we? The aquarium's over there. We're gonna sit and have some breakfast. And then what else do we get to do on your birthday? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. No, I have told you what we have to oh, do. Oh, we're gonna do breakfast. What? No, my appointment. Oh, we're gonna get it. your appointment. <laughs> So a little while ago I went to the dermatologist, I mean I went to my doctor to get a referral for a dermatologist because I get this perioral dermatitis thing. Anyway, I cancelled the appointment because I, it was getting better and then I had these tablets for it but I forgot to take the tablets for two days and it started to come back like here and around my eye. But because I cancelled the appointment, then I needed to rebook it. So I rang them this morning and because we're in Melbourne, the dermatologist in Melbourne, anyway long story short I got an appointment like super last minute. So that's what we're doing today at 1.30. Yeah, to spend Bud's 29th birthday at the dermatologist. But we're going to go to the aquarium this morning as well. guys it is a little bit later in the day now what is the time like 12 30 it's like 12 30 my dermatologist appointment is until 1 30 we're gonna walk there it's literally only like two kilometers away so we will do that and then we're gonna go for some lunch we're not sure whether to go to korean or to go get sushi train <laughs> i think we're gonna try korean i've never had it before and i keep seeing it all over tiktok so i'm super excited to try that and then we want to go to High Point and do some shopping. We're not sure whether to do that today or tomorrow. We've got to pick up some pottery stuff for my mum. Yeah, a few little things. So, But it's just so nice relaxing. It is really nice relaxing and not having stuff that we have to go and do other than this appointment. Um, it's really nice. So that's what we're going to do for the rest of the day. And I'll bring you along. Hang on. So we just finished my dermatology appointment. That went all well. And now we're getting an Uber to Sushi Train. Because Bud's wanted sushi. I want a Korean, but it's Budsy's birthday and he picked sushi. So that's what we're doing. Our Uber should be almost here. 274. 
That's super rude. It's now 4.55. What did we do? We went out for lunch. We went and got sushi. That was unreal. Then we came back here. We went to the casino, actually. And we were both, what, like $150 up? Which was good. Now we're going to head down to Time Zone, which is like, I think it's called Time Zone here. Um, it's just like all the arcade game type things and the basketball game, which we love. So we're going to go there. I probably won't film. I'm not going to bring my camera, actually. Um, I'll just film on my phone. I also called up and we booked an extra night. So we're going to be staying three nights, which gives us a full day tomorrow to come back to the room as well. Um, and then we'll wake up early and we'll leave on Wednesday morning, which is super exciting. Tomorrow we're going to go to High Point and we've got to go to Northcote Pottery Supplies. We're picking up some pottery clay for my mum. And I'm going to try and go to one of my suppliers for the balloon business and pick up a heap of stuff instead of getting it delivered. Um, but yeah, that's kind of our day. We are loving being on holidays, aren't we? Come here. Tell the people. I like being on holidays. <laughs> All right, we're going to go now and I'll speak to you later. Hello guys, it is later in the day. It's almost, actually, it's like eight o'clock. Buds and I are getting dressed. I've got my bathers on underneath this. So we're gonna go for a swim up at the pool. I'll show you our view at night time. So yeah, oh my God, I'm so tired. Um, we're gonna go for a little swim and then I think we're gonna have an early night. Good morning guys. It is, what's the day? Tuesday? We've just ordered some room service. I'll show you. What did we get? We got, we sort of got a mix of like sweet and savory to share. So we got some pancakes. So yum. And a big breakfast. And I got a juice and Bud's got a strawberry milkshake. <laughs> 